So today we are going to be looking at the IV characteristics of a resistor and a filament lamp. Now let's get started with the resistor. In order to find out the IV characteristics, we have the following circuit. So we have a cell which has been connected to a variable resistor and then we have the actual resistor across here. In order to get the IV characteristic, characteristics, we're going to need two things. Number one is an ammeter, which is node is connected in series. And we'll also need a voltmeter, which um, has been connected just over here across the actual resistor. Assuming we have used this circuit to measure the amount of current that goes through the resistor for various different amounts of potential difference, we have uh, plotted the following graph. Now notice a couple of things. Number one, the graph is a straight line through the origin. This means that the current is directly proportional to the potential difference. Now this means that Ohm's law is obeyed by the resistor because the graph is a straight line through the origin. The other thing that we're going to notice is that the resistance does not change. So in this case, both in this negative range over here and in this positive range over here, the, um, the gradient of the graph is remains unchanged. It is a straight line for the origin, which means that the resistance is constant. This also makes sense because if we wanted to have a resistor of, let's say, 100 ohms, we don't want it to just suddenly jump to you know 1,000 ohms or to 300 ohms and we want it to remain constant. If we were to have a higher value for the resistance in an IV graph, this would be represented by a, uh, a shallower gradient. The reason for that is because of the same amount of, so let's say if I draw this graph over here, and we can see that for the same amount of potential difference, the uh, the amount of current flowing through let's say this uh, this, this blue the resistor so to speak is considerably lower than this one over here on the other hand if we had a lower resistance value so let's draw this one let's say in red uh, we are going to have a steeper gradient so let's say this one over here and notice that for this red resistor, so to speak, uh, for a given amount of potential difference, we are going to have a higher amount of current going through it. So uh, once again, the resistors, the IV characteristics of a resistor show that resistors obey Ohm's law because the graph is a straight line for the origin, current is directly proportional to potential difference, the uh, gradient of the resistance is directly connected to the uh, amount of resistance, so a lower gradient means a higher resistance. Okay folks, now let's have a look at the IV characteristics of a filament lamp. Okay, folks, now let's repeat exactly the same experiment. However, rather than a resistor in this uh, place over here, we are going to have a filament light bulb. Now, the IV characteristics of a filament light bulb look like so. Notice a couple of things. Number one, the graph is no longer a straight line through the origin. This means that the bulb does not obey Ohm's law. And um, I've summarized the IV characteristics just over here on the right, and we can go through them. As I've just said, the current is not proportional to the PD, because we can see that because the graph is no longer a straight line through the origin. And once again, this means that the, uh, the bulb does not obey Ohm's law. 
Additionally, you're going to notice that the potential difference is increasing at a faster rate than the current. What does that mean? That means that if the uh, potential difference increases, let's say, by this much, by a whole square, the current has only moved a little bit more upwards. So this means the PD is essentially increasing a lot faster. Now, because R is equal to VI, this, this means that, in effect, the resistance of the bulb increases, which is really, really important. Now, the reason, the physical reason of why the resistance of the bulb increases is because as current increases, the temperature of the bulb also increases. And because of that, there are going to be more collisions between the conducting electrons and the positive ions. So you can almost picture the conducting electrons trying to move through this bulb. However, the positive ions are vibrating more and more as the temperature increases, which leads to more collisions, and it's harder to pass current through the filament lamp. Okay, folks, so those were the IV characteristics of a resistor and a filament lamp. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below, and thank you very much for watching.